Welcome to the deep dive. Uh, today we're jumping straight into, well, AI in software development. Specifically, mm -hmm. we're looking at the um, the brand new AI features in the latest GitLab release, version 18.0. That's right. Think of this as your quick guide, you know, to get you up to speed on how AI is getting baked into the whole dev life cycle. And we should probably clarify, we're focusing mostly on the AI stuff for GitLab Premium and Ultimate users here. Exactly. That's where the big AI push is happening in this release. These aren't just like little add-ons. It's uh -huh. more fundamental for those tiers. Right. So our mission, if you will, is to figure out how these new GitLab Duo AI features can actually help your teams, you know, work smarter, faster, but without uh, compromising on security or code quality. That's the goal. And just a quick note, this deep dive is brought to you by ALM Toolbox. They're a selected partner of GitLab Worldwide and a GitLab champion. Great folks over there. Okay, so GitLab 18.0, it's here. What's the kind of the main story beyond just, you know, another version number? Well, it is a pretty significant release, yeah. over 30 improvements overall. But yeah, the core theme is definitely AI. AI everywhere. Pretty much weaving AI across the entire software delivery lifecycle. That and uh, continuing to strengthen security. They go hand in hand, really. Makes sense. And the big headline announcement is GitLab Duo for Premium and Ultimate. That's sort of the package deal for these AI features. GitLab Duo. Okay, so that's the name we need to know for this AI stuff and Premium and Ultimate. What does it actually let teams do? Yeah, Duo is the umbrella term. Think of it as your AI assistant within GitLab. The main idea is making developers more efficient. Um, and helping improve the code itself. Okay, efficiency, better code. Give us some specifics. What can, say, a developer on a premium plan do now that they couldn't before? Right, so several key things. First, Duo can help analyze and, and sort of explain existing code. Explain code, how does that work? Imagine you're new to a project, or you hit a really complex bit of legacy code. Instead of spending hours trying to untangle it, you can ask Duo to explain it. It cuts down that learning curve, you know? Ah, okay. I can see that being useful. What else? Second, writing secure code faster. It gives you suggestions as you type. It's proactive. So catching potential security issues while you're still writing the line. Exactly. Guiding you towards safer practices from the start. Then uh, it can help generate tests quickly. Generate tests. That helps with quality, right? Definitely. Helps make sure your changes don't break anything unexpectedly. Keep that quality bar high. Mm-hmm. And finally, um, refactoring. Ah, cleaning up code. Yeah, maybe to improve performance or maybe you need to switch to a different library. Duo can assist with that refactoring process. And how do developers actually use these things? Is it like a separate tool? No, and that's key. It's integrated. You get code suggestions and a chat feature right inside your IDE. Your integrated development environment, so VS Code, JetBrains, whatever you're using. Exactly. It's meant to be part of your natural workflow, not something you have to switch context for constantly. Okay, that IDE integration sounds really practical. Now, I also saw something about uh, Repository X-Ray. What's that about? Yeah, Repository X-Ray with code suggestions. This is specifically interesting for GitLab Duo self-hosted users. Self-hosted, got it. It lets you do that deep AI-powered analysis of your code base, but you know, within your own infrastructure. It's still beta for self-hosted right now. Still beta. Okay. But it is generally available if you're using GitLab self-managed instances. Right. So different deployment models have slightly different availability there. Makes sense. Okay. Let's shift to code reviews. Always a bottleneck, potentially. Huh. Yeah, it can be. So GitLab 18.0 has automatic reviews with Duo. How does that work? Is it like AI reviewing your code? Pretty much, yeah. You can now configure Duo Code Review to run automatically when a merge request is created. So every MR gets an initial look from the AI. That's the idea. It helps ensure consistency, catches maybe common mistakes or style issues early on, provides that baseline review for everything. Okay, that could save some time. Does it run on every single merge request, like even drafts? No, they've put some thought into that. It won't run on draft MRs or... Uh, on MRs where there aren't actually any code changes. Smart. Avoids noise. Exactly. Focuses the AI review where it's actually needed. And I heard the AI reviews themselves are getting better. Something about more context. Yes, definitely. That's a key improvement. Do a code review now understands the context much better. How so? What context is it using? Well, for starters, it looks at the merge request title and description now. Mm. That gives it intent. You know, uh, what was the developer trying to do? Ah, uh, okay. Not just the raw code. Right. And it also examines all the dis 
all the changes across all the files in the MR at the same time. Oh, so it can see how a change in one file might affect another? Precisely. It gets that cross-file relationship. And importantly, it sees the full content of the files that were changed, not just the little snippets around the change itself. So bigger picture understanding. Exactly. Leads to more relevant feedback, fewer weird or inaccurate suggestions, higher quality reviews, basically. Okay, that sounds like a solid improvement. One last feature, code suggestions prompt caching. Sounds technical, but what's the benefit for the developer typing away? Speed, simple as that. Faster suggestions. Yes, yeah, sig significantly faster code completion or suggestions popping up. Caching means the system doesn't have to, like, refigure things out constantly for common patterns. It reuses previous computations. So less waiting for the suggestion to appear. Right. A smoother, more responsive coding experience. And uh, worth noting, they handle this cache data carefully. It's not logged persistently. And you can actually turn it off in the Duo settings if you want. Good to know about the privacy aspect. Okay, so... Summing up then, GitLab 18.0, especially for premium and ultimate, is really leaning into AI with Duo, helping understand code, write safer code, generate tests, refactor. Plus automating those initial code reviews and making them smarter and speeding up the code suggestions you get in the IDE. It's quite a package. It really is. The goal is clear, boosting efficiency, quality, and security for those users. So here's the takeaway thought for you listening. With these AI tools now baked into GitLab 18.0, how might that change how your team works? Could this unlock new ways to be efficient? Could it, you know, automate some of the tedious stuff and free you up for the harder problems? Maybe find those aha moments. It's definitely worth thinking about, and uh, we'd recommend checking out the full GitLab 18.0 release notes and the documentation. There's a lot more detail in there, obviously. Absolutely. Dive deeper into the docs to see how it all fits together. Thanks for joining us for this dope dive.